Advertised as Omega's professional capable dive watch, the Planet Ocean today seems to oftentimes be less discussed compared to other exceptional dive watches from Omega, including the Diver 300 meter, as well as the Seamaster 300 meter. Yet with the release of the new and latest lineup of 75th anniversary models with the summer blue dials, we were given a strong reminder that this collection is as noteworthy as any when it comes to the Planet Ocean, with this specific model being the 600 meter 75th anniversary at 39 and a half millimeters. Launched in 2005, the Planet Ocean was created to serve as Omega's most capable modern professional dive watch offering, powered by the then new Caliber 2500 series, offering Omega's coaxial escapement and boasting an impressive water resistance rating. This model family received its biggest push towards the spotlight in 2006, when a young Daniel Craig took the screen as James Bond in Casino Royale, sporting the new Planet Ocean in the process. The Planet Ocean continued to be the choice of the rough and tumble British spy through the Quantum of Solace and Skyfall. Since its inception, Omega has treated the Planet Ocean as somewhat of a testing ground and a platform for movement material technologies and more. It was clear to most that the Planet Ocean was being positioned as a modern luxury watch meant to take on the likes of the Submariner, for example, while also presenting a design language all its own. Perhaps wary to mess with an icon, the Seamaster Professional 300 meter has remained largely faithful in its approach throughout the years, whereas the Planet Ocean has received many iterations in case sizes, materials, movements, complications, and colorways. In 2009, we saw the introduction of the liquid metal ceramic bezel denoted by the ZR02 appearing on the dial, allowing for improved colors and durability. Then in 2011, a large overhaul marking the second generation of the Planet Ocean occurred with the integration of the Caliber 8500 with the coaxial chronometer distinction, along with a smaller 37 and millimeter case diameter, a titanium option, new colorways, larger, more legible markers, utilizing white superluminova, emitting a blue glow, and the gloss dials. The progression of the collection continued as Meta certified calibers began to find their way into the collection in the years to follow, offering zero to plus five seconds a day in minimum accuracy, as well as its exceptional water resistance and a variety of other feats achieved in its fully cased up test. And to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Seamaster name, in 2023, Omega released the Summer Blue Dial Collection, spanning to nearly every key pillar of the Seamaster family. And though it would be hard for me to really draw the line in the sand and say that this Planet Ocean is my favorite of all the new dial colors, I will say compared to all the others, this watch feels like a substantially new concept compared to its former self. Out of all the case sizes for the Planet Ocean, it is interesting that Omega chose to use the 39 and millimeter to represent the 75th anniversary collection. The 39 and millimeter measurement is one that comes from the bezel, whereas you look at the measurement from the central case, you come away with a 40.4 millimeter diameter. These dimensions pair with the thickness of 14.2 millimeters and a short lug to lug of 45.4 millimeters. And given its classic leading water resistance, the Planet Ocean is slightly thicker compared to other divers from Omega, but the side profile is broken down nicely, making it not felt in its wear. In totality, the case wears closer to that of a measurement of 40 and a half millimeters, but given its lack of length, this is arguably one of the most wearable cases Omega makes for smaller wrists. Fine vertical brushing on the case is bolstered by a polished and prominent facet leading to the case sides and then eventually to the back where the circular brushing takes over surrounding the decorative Poseidon relief. At 10, the manual release screw down heel escape valve sits cut into the asymmetrical case body, a very polarizing design feature that may turn some away given its less practical applications unless you truly are doing some deep saturation diving. Very few of us. At three, the 6.4 millimeter screw down crown sits with well cut grooves around its circumference and the blasted dome top backdrops a polished Omega logo. The tall polished 120 click unidirectional bezel cut with deep square grooves provides excellent tactile feedback while rotating with virtually no back play. A slightly domed liquid metal ceramic bezel insert colored a deep blue hue with light blue markers and a loom pip at 60 helps smooth the transition to the dome sapphire crystal. Set between the 19 millimeter curved liar lugs sits the refined three length fully brushed stainless steel bracelet. The bracelet tapers slightly by one millimeter before 
before terminating at a three-piece milled clasp. Measuring 21 millimeters wide, the clasp features two small polished facets on its outer edges, framing the vertically brushed top surface with the Omega name and logo engraved. Hidden inside the dual push button clasp sits a third button used to operate micro adjustment, making getting a precise fit no issue and topping off an excellent bracelet. Directly correlated to the depth rating of the watch, the Seamaster 75th Anniversary Collection utilizes blue colors growing from deeper and darker as the water resistance increases, beginning with the lightly hued Aquaterra rated at 150 meters, no slouch, and ending with the deep and dark blue of the Ultra Deep rated at 6,000 meters. On the Planet Ocean, this dial is incredibly involved to create the end result, utilizing ceramic and a PVD process in creating a striking color and texture. Texture. The dial starts with a ceramic surface that is vertically brushed, creating its line pattern, and then is given a PVD treatment and varnished in order to make that dial transition from dark at its outskirts to a lighter blue at center, while still maintaining a vivid effect to match the darkened mystery of the sea's depths. A contrasting blue printed minute track runs the outer edge interrupted by polished applied blue indices filled with a unique light blue superluminova marking every hour where applied Arabic numerals at 12, six and nine cut the indices short and a faceted date window is going to be at that three o'clock position for the dial to reveal that color match date wheel. At center, a polished and blued arrow handset filled with loom points to the time, with a polished and blued second hand with a loomed and painted tip sweeps across the dial. Dial text is heavier with three lines sitting at 12 and six, with the Omega logo and signature both being raised from the dial to add depth to what I would argue is one of the best dials Omega has ever cased up in a dive watch. When it comes to the Planet Ocean, it can vary on the movement inside depending on the model you're looking at. You could be having an 8800 caliber or an 8900 caliber. Now the 8800 included in this model is no slouch and has been one of the movements that I would say has helped to establish many of the standards we have come to expect from luxury calibers of this tier. The caliber is classified by its use of a coaxial escapement, an entirely different escapement system created by Dr. George Daniels, considered by many to be the greatest watchmaker of the 20th century, and was a technology that was acquired by Omega and has been rolled out to their watches in the 21st century. The coaxial escapement system utilizes a modified escapement wheel, a three jewel pallet fork, and an additional jewel on the balance roller in order to reduce sliding friction and in the process, increase the length of the service interval. Further, the 8800 caliber offers the full suite of modern Omega movement tech, including a master chronometer certification by METAS, the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, which includes eight strenuous tests, including an upped accuracy standard of zero to plus five seconds, a range of deviation that is going to be tighter than that of COSC, while also being a test that is going to test this watch fully cased up rather than just the movement. The Planet Ocean also has the benefit of high resistance to magnetism, offering a quoted resistant up to 15,000 gauss, the typical exposure in an MRI machine for context. The balances of a free sprung variety, counteracting the adverse effects of shock while being fine tuned and regulated by Omega with the small screws on that balance wheel. When it comes to that balance wheel and the spring being utilized, you have it being made of silicon, aiding in those previously mentioned points regarding magnetic resistance, as well as with shock. Now looking beyond the list of technical specifications, this caliber is also well decorated despite hiding behind that celebratory case back and helps again setting a standard for its price. With spiral waves across the rotor and bridges, beveling, and has a nice tasteful layout for its jewels. In terms of general operation for this movement, you're looking at a beat frequency of 3.5 Hertz, 25,200 vibrations per hour. It does feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stopping the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position and a power reserve of 55 hours. And despite their master chronometer certification, we did test this watch across five different positions and it was running well within that zero to plus five standard. So now let's share some closing thoughts on this Omega Planet Ocean Anniversary Edition. To begin with some of the points of consideration, we'll begin with the helium escape valve. Now, I am not gonna be as put off to this in this instance compared to some other models from Omega's dive watch catalog. There's something about the Planet Ocean that gives it a bit more of a pass, but no question this is going to be a polarizing point for some. Secondly, despite this movement being a standout in many regards, the power reserve has become an area where I do think it might be falling behind some of the new standards that we're seeing in the industry, both from Omega themselves, but also around the industry more broadly at around 60 to 70 hours. 
But now let's shift into some of the pros. So the standard perks of an Omega Dive watch are absolutely here. You have great water resistance, Loom, Metas certification, exceptional bezel action, and a history at its back that makes it a force to be reckoned with. Yet apart from all of this, the design and the dial of this piece are really what makes this thing spectacular in my opinion. At the time of the release of the 75th anniversary collection of the Seamaster, it was a lot to download, not only as somebody who covers pretty much everything in this industry, but also as a fan and collector of Omega. And although it is hard for me to say from this line, which is my favorite, in my opinion, there was clearly one that felt like the biggest shift from the core line, and that was with this Planet Ocean. And with its case size that offers feasibility to a different segment of collectors, its stellar dive specifications, and its mesmerizing dial color, this piece is unquestionably a head turner. But all right guys, that's my take looking at this new Omega Planet Ocean 75th anniversary edition. What do you think of this model of all the different summer blue dial colors in that lineup of Seamasters? Which one is your favorite? Again, it's hard for me to really pick, but this was certainly one of the standouts in my opinion. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon, really would appreciate that. Also check out teddybaldestar.com. Teddybaldestar.com is a full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. Also how we're able to fund all of our productions on this channel is through selling watches on our site. So if you are in the market, for a watch. We'd love to have your business because it allows us to keep doing what we're doing here and we love what we do. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.